Since the 1950s, the medium home price in California has been dramatically higher than the national average. The prices for homes and rent has been growing exponentially in Santa Barbara, and just last year we experienced a record high average rent cost. But numbers and data on a spreadsheet aren't enough to fully demonstrate this crisis. So we set out to find real people dealing with this problem in our community. I live by myself. Um, my apartment is more than 2000 uh, 2, uh, a month, so I have two jobs. And it keeps going up every year. It's, it's hard, but it's, it's, you pay for the weather. Oh my god, the price of housing is so awful and it keeps rising for no reason, especially because they're not putting in any like new ways to fix it. But I would say I'm one of the more privileged people because I have my parents' support. So it doesn't affect me as much as it affects others, but just the general flooding to Isla Vista and not having a place to live, for sure. Well, in Santa Barbara, it's like damn near unlivable, and you have to live with other people to rent cheap, so yeah, for sure. It's hard, man. Uh, it's definitely tough out here in Santa Barbara. Trying to learn, especially going to school and working, it's a little tough. But yeah, you got you got to cut crack down on, I would say, other parts of living, like food, where you go to work out, all that kind of stuff, your car, etc. That's why I ride around on this most of the time. We pay $27.95 for a one bedroom apartment, and it's horrible. Horrible. Yeah. You know, anywhere else in the country, we'd be able to have a three bedroom house. For what we pay, at least a three bedroom house. Yeah. yeah. And we pay twenty-seven hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. That's seventy-five percent of my income. The people of Santa Barbara can transition from being bystanders to advocates very easily by supporting affordable housing projects, voting for politicians that recognize the issue, and even protesting to spread awareness. If you want to dive a little bit deeper to find out how you can help your community, scan the QR code below. Reporting for DP News, this has been Ada Myers, Ryan Marsh, and Nathan Egan.